go for main engine start. Dragon separation confirmed. ¿Qué tal amigos? Muy buenas noches y bienvenidos otra vez a este su programa de Glaretum en vivo. Y pues el día de hoy, pues si se fijan, por ahí puse una, pues una paleta, ¿no? Vamos a pintar. ¿Por qué vamos a pintar? Porque pues nos gustan las galaxias. Por ahí habíamos ya hecho algunas, este, a, algunos en vivos con gente que le gusta pintar. Por ejemplo, teníamos a Keychoin, también teníamos a Silvana. Pero el día de hoy, pues ahora me toca pintar a mí. Yo no sé pintar, esta es la primera vez que lo voy a hacer. Este, estamos ahorita con, con alguien que sí sabe pintar, entonces les vamos a enseñar cómo pintar y cómo no pintar. Entonces, esa es mi parte. Entonces, nada más para que sepan cómo va a estar el, el, la onda, este, pues necesitamos un, pues un cuadro de estos de color negro, o pueden ponerlo de color, o lo pueden pintar. Este, sinceramente no sé cómo se llaman estos esos pinceles, de qué tipo son, pero por ejemplo está uno cuadradito, igual les voy a poner la lista, tenemos otro grandote, tenemos espátulas, ok, como les digo, yo no sé qué rollo, pero por eso invitamos a nuestra amiga a Lanchen, Lanchen ella es la que nos va a estar ayudando, acuérdense que va a estar en inglés y va a estar en español, entonces ella va a estar hablando y nosotros vamos a estar traduciendo, entonces, pues tenemos pinturitas también, no sé de qué son, ahorita como quiera ahorita le preguntamos de qué son, y tenemos pues un recipiente pues para poder echar la pintura, y nada más, entonces pues si les gusta pintar, pues chido, y si no les gusta pintar, pues quédense porque vamos a estar platicando de, de cosas, de cómo podemos ustedes hacer, ahora sí como dicen este arte de, de galaxias, pero bueno, sin más preámbulo chicos, pues vamos a darle la bienvenida a Lanchen, para que nos platique cómo es que ella inició y de ahí pues vamos a ver todo este show que vamos a estar haciendo, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces, pues vamos a darle la bienvenida, ¿sí? Ahí está, Lanchen, how are you? Good evening. Are you muted? Okay, hold on. No, the other one in the computer. Yeah, just uh, unmute yourself. Okay, no, hold on. Now you can talk. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. I couldn't play the audio on the computer because my phone won't, the volume won't turn okay. off. Okay. Perfect. My bad. See? Hi. <laughs> I was just talking in Spanish how about that. What are we doing? See? I could tell. Like I can kind I know, I know bit. what you're saying, kind of. I just can't speak it yet. I want to learn so bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, digo, dice que me medio entendió, pero dice que es que quiere aprender, pero pues así vamos a estar. Este, antes de comenzar, Lanchen, before we begin, Lanchen, why don't you introduce yourself? ¿Por qué no te presentas? Uh, well, my name is Lanchen. I'm a space artist. I paint space and I paint in a bunch of different mediums, resin, acrylic, oil. Resin, acrylic, okay, oil, okay. Yeah, um, I'd say resin is probably my niche, my niche artwork because most people don't do it. But also, let me know if I should stop so you can translate because I don't want to say too much. <laughs> okay, dice. Yeah. Pues soy Lanchen y lo pues soy un artista del espacio. Pues me gusta pintar. Dice que pinta resina, acrílico, and the other one is. Acrylic? Resin acrylic oil is what we're doing today. Okay. The oil. Ah, okay. So this is the aceite. Este. Okay. Yeah, we got the oil. Oil color. Okay. This is the aceite. Yeah. Muy bien. Perfect. Yeah. I, I was telling this, this is my first time. Estaba diciendo que esta es mi primera vez. So I don't know what, how, how mess I'm going to leave here, but it's okay. <laughs> oil is very easy to clean up. So okay. it, it takes a very long time to dry. So you don't have to worry about it sticking to anything like other paints. Okay, dice que la de la de aceite pues es muy fácil de quitar, entonces nada más de que se tarda mucho en secar. Entonces para que no nos preocupemos, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces, Lanchen, if you can, can continue, please. Yes. So, when I was little, I wanted to be an astronaut just like every other kid on the planet. 
But when I got older, I realized it's really hard to do. <laughs> so I, I started painting space and I realized, wow, this is kind of a way I can explore space through my creative expression. And I mean, we don't know everything that's out there. So the things that I create, I do abstract only because I feel as if I am finding what is out there, the finding the things that we haven't discovered yet. And now I get to share my love for space all the time. Even if I'm not an astronaut, I still get to kind of be a part of the space community. And it's been such a great experience. Muy bien. Okay, let me say that in Spanish. Este dice que pues ella desde, desde chiquita quería ser astronauta, ¿verdad? Como todos los niños en todas partes quieren ser astronautas. Sin embargo, se dio cuenta que era muy difícil pues realizar o ser astronauta. Entonces, pues comenzó a pintar y se dio cuenta que ella podía estar pues creando cosas porque sabemos que no conocemos todo lo que está allá afuera y de la manera en que ella eh, trata de encontrar las cosas, pues es pintando. Ok, thank you, Lanchen. Um, so, do you want me to continue? Perhaps you can tell me. Um, oh, I have more when, to say. I have more to okay, say. Okay, you can, you can, you can continue. Okay, so um, the whole backstory of why I only chose. Oh my gosh, my cat is just. What's the name of the cat? Andy. He won't get off of me. The whole backstory of why I paint space too. There's a long-term goal. I didn't expect to become successful painting because I didn't think that was a thing. I didn't okay. know artists could actually sell art because <laughs> in school growing up, I feel like we're all taught you can't really make a, a job out of your painting hobby, your creativity. So my long term goal was to actually become a Disney Imagineer and okay. to work within the parks designing space things. So the only way I found out that you could actually do that without going to college was to be scouted by Disney for doing a specific thing. So me doing space and space only is also a long-term goal to hopefully working for Disney and making something in Tomorrowland or Star Wars land. And most people don't know that, but that's like why I'm like so committed to doing this too. Ok, nice, thank you. Yeah. Dice, dice este, que pues uno de los, de, las, de los objetivos más grandes que ella tiene pues es trabajar como diseñadora en Disney, ok. Pero pues a lo mejor no lo sabían, pero porque ella pensaba de que no podía vivir de su arte, o sea, de que estuviera pintando, porque tenía que ir a la escuela o alguna otra cosa. Entonces lo que hizo pues fue pintar ¿Verdad? Porque ella considera, porque así trabaja Disney, de que hacen búsqueda, si ella se especializa en una sola cosa, ella tiene más posibilidades de que pudiera trabajar a lo mejor este, en algún parque de, de Disney. ¿Qué es the, the other thing? Disney and the other? Disney Imagineer. Disney Imagineer, ok. Sí. Entonces. ¿Qué más? Sí, the other one. You said another one. You said Disney Imagineer or? Uh, no, that was it. <laughs> that was it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I said too much. See, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> OK. Bueno, entonces, pues es una forma de que ella puede y quiere trabajar en Disney. Entonces, eso es un, un objetivo que ella tiene en a largo, largo término. Entonces, pues está, está, eso es uno de sus objetivos. So, Besides this, are you doing anything else to survive, perhaps? No, I do. Well, I do art and YouTube full time. Ok. Le pregunté yeah. que si era lo único que hacía o hace otra cosa. Bueno, pues tiene su canal de YouTube y aparte pues hace los, sus cuadros. Ok. Yeah. Very and good. my YouTube is same as my Instagram, like every handle, just Lanchin designs all across the board. And I do paint videos there and, and then I paint i have multiple youtube channels but my art channel is uh yeah lanchin designs so okay what we will be doing here today you see on my channel too okay muy bien dice tiene muchos canales de youtube verdad todos pueden buscarlo como lanchin designs en instagram y todos tiene, vari tiene varios 
Entonces, este, pues lo que ahorita vamos a hacer, también lo pueden encontrar en su canal de YouTube. ¿De acuerdo? Entonces, muy bien. Ok. Thank you very much, Lanchen. So, what are we going to do tonight? Try to conquer the war? We're going to, yeah, we're <laughs> going to do that. And we're also going to try to paint. But I realized this brush that you have. Okay. I think you got a hard bristle brush. I don't know what this is. Does it feel soft when you touch it? A little bit. Uh, put it to the screen. Let me see. I think, yeah. I mean, technically that's an oil brush. But for but, blending, I think it's going to be pretty bad. But we'll try to do it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're going <laughs> to try. Again? We're going to see what's going to happen. As long as you got like a light touch, you'll be okay. Light touch. Yeah. Okay. Bueno, so, dice que mi cepillo no es el correcto, que a ver qué sale, porque está, bueno, técnicamente este es un cepillo de aceite, pero sí tengo que tener algún cuidado para poder hacer lo que tenga que hacer. Entonces, pues, pues vamos a intentarlo. Vamos, let's gonna try. We're gonna try. And okay. the cool thing about painting with oils is you actually don't need to buy art brushes. You can use makeup brushes. Makeup brushes. Yeah. Really? So like a blush brush for girls. Oh my gosh. It's like the best paintbrush. Really? Yeah. I was, I was having one in my hand. I said, no, this is, this is for makeup. I don't want to. That's the other probably day. the one you need. <laughs> okay. Dice, dice like, que una de las cosas que tiene esto es de que pues tú puedes utilizar en lugar de pinceles para pintura, puedes estar utilizando pinceles para maquillaje. Entonces, pues cualquier cepillo que tú uses para maquillarte, puedes usarlo para pintar. Entonces, eso es algo que yo no sabía. Pues está genial. Entonces, ok. One thing I didn't know, but I'm... Perhaps I next know. time. Perhaps next time. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. So, you got these two products right here. You have a Gal Kid. And this is for speeding up drying time. So okay, this is for speeding up dry. Okay, this is para el secado rápido. Okay, what's the name? Galkid. Galkid. Okay. Es este que está aquí. Lo voy a enseñar. Muy bien. I think you have the um, liquid. Yeah, that's one. Yeah, they're the same thing. It's just different textures. I prefer liquid, but mine has sealed shut. I can't get it off. So I'm just using this as a backup because I can't use it. Okay, but. You have the better product. Don't worry. Okay. Oh, este es mejor. Dice que este es mejor. De ahí tenía otro, pero este es mejor. Okay. And then the other product is linseed oil. And this, okay. this slows down drying time. This is slows down. Okay. Este yeah. reduce el tiempo de secado. Yeah. It increases the transparency of your paint. So. Aumenta la transparencia de tu pintura. Uh -huh. So oil paints take like months to dry okay that's why most artists the most archival paintings you will see in museums are normally made of With oil oils because they last so long they're very very oh. high quality and durable okay dice que normalmente las pinturas que son de, de aceite son las que tardan mucho en secar okay y por eso normalmente vemos en las exhibiciones que la, los artistas utilizan pinturas de aceite porque aparte de que tardan mucho en secar duran bastante este como como se preservan ok Muy yeah bien. so these two products that you have okay, allow los productos you, que tengo permiten they allow I'm you translating. to oh i know i know <laughs> they allow you to paint and have them dry within a day to a week Ok, dice que con yeah. estos dos productos que tenemos aquí, como quiera la voy a poner aquí en los, los comentarios, los productos que estamos usando, es de que te permiten que podamos tener la pintura lista o seca o ya sequita eh, de un día a una semana, dependiendo qué es lo que hayamos hecho y dependiendo del tamaño. It depends on the size, right? For example, I don't know how many. Is this going to take a, a day for drying? It'll, yeah, probably a day. Yeah. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Entonces dice que una de estas también se tarda como un día en secar. Muy bien. Yeah. The first time I ever painted with oils, because I paint in acrylics, acrylics dry immediately. It's a water-based okay. paint. 
so I painted in oils thinking it was the same thing. I didn't understand that it took long to dry. So I mixed black onto my canvas. <laughs> and all these different colors and it just t it turned gray and i was like why is it not drying <laughs> and i went back to it about a month later still wet it's still wet to this day i guarantee it and i never tried oils again because i was like this is so stupid why do people paint with this it doesn't <laughs> okay <laughs> let me say that in spanish dice que una vez intentó hacer la pintura pues en aceite y pues ella está acostumbrada a hacerlo en acrílico. Entonces, pues que comenzó a pintar y pues veía y pues se empezó a mezclar este, las, las pinturas y veía y se hizo gris. Entonces dice, ¿por qué onda? ¿Por qué se hace gris? Esto es muy estúpido. Yo no sé por qué. ¿Por qué alguien pinta en, en aceite? Ok, go ahead. Yeah, so um, I discovered that the reason you have a black canvas right now okay, is because... Uh -huh. You can't mix these colors into black. It will just turn gray. Like if you had a black oil paint in the background, you would have to wait for it to dry completely in order to paint anything else on top of it. And you would have to oh. wait a long time. So that's why my base is with a black acrylic black. paint. And yours is just a black canvas. You can buy it black, but yes. I painted mine. Oh, so you painted, ok, dice que ella tiene una, una madre de estas, no sé qué se llama, un canvas, ¿sí? Ella lo pintó con acrílico de color negro, pero yo lo compré negro, entonces pues ella lo dejó ahí este, para, que, para poderlo utilizar y para evitar que se mezclen de color gris, ok, eso es lo que nos dice, ok. Ok, very good. Ok, so the first thing we're going to do. Okay, so you're, so you're going to, you have your palette. Okay, I'm going to switch the camera so every, everybody can see, okay? Okay. Muy bien. Entonces, so you're gonna, if you, yes, if you can point the things that we're using. So grab your liquid. Okay, I'm agarro mi liquid. Gal Kid. Okay. And you're going to put it into your little palette. So this is my palette. Yours is the round white one. This one. Yeah, so in one of the little sections... You're going to drop probably like a dime sized amount. Okay. Okay, voy a dejar caer esta cosa que no sé qué sea. Un poquitito. Okay, is, is this house to. Is, is this yeah. House? So you can Así just take the back of your brush and just like scoop it out because that one's thicker, but I promise it's a better texture than the one I have. Okay. Yeah, you'll can, like can that I use one this one? Better. Yeah, that works. So just scoop some out and then put it on. Like this or something? Yeah, that works. Mm -hmm. Okay, dice que pongamos este aquí. Aquí lo estoy poniendo. Yo no tengo dos cámaras, entonces pues yo lo voy a poner aquí. Okay. Perfect. Ahí lo dejamos, dejamos esta cosa. Muy bien. Okay, yeah. Should I close it? Lo cierro. Yeah, make sure you close it. Okay. Lo cerramos. Cerrado. Closed. And then taking your linseed oil. Okay, you are el aceite de linsen, que es este. Okay. Oh, this is for slowing the dry time. You're Esto going para to para retrasar el secado. Voy a poner. I'd say like, I kind of wing it which is bad but um maybe do like half the amounts that you just put of the other stuff okay vamos a and poner... careful because this stuff pours out fast <laughs> okay vamos a poner la mitad de lo que pusimos del otro i, I need to mix it yeah you'll you'll want to mix it with a brush a brush whichever one what um i'm using this brush right here a fan brush i know you don't have like okay. um you want it to be bigger because you're going to be applying it to the back of your canvas like this this one is it okay is it as long as it's a uh, pretty decently sized yeah that looks Me. good i think yeah okay. that's good okay entonces vamos a utilizar un cepillo un cepillo un sí, un pincel y le vamos a echar este y lo vamos a mezclar y lo vamos a colocar en el de este 
Okay. So I'm applying mine with a fan brush. I also can't take credit for any of this. Kat Machen is the one that taught me how to paint in oils. Oh, really? Kat. Yes, she did. <laughs> ah, bueno, dice que no se puede llevar el crédito porque esta Katrin Machen fue la que le enseñó. O sea, this is a cat technique. Um, I'm not going to copy her technique, but she's the one that taught me how to, like, combine these oils. I didn't know this was a thing till her. The brushes I should buy. And, yeah. <laughs> okay. Dice que no I'm not going to try to copy what she does. For, <laughs> I can't. I can't, even if I tried. But yeah. <laughs> okay. Dice. So once you mix it, okay, you're going to apply it to your canvas. To all the canvas. Yeah, you're going to cover the entire thing. And okay, if you don't have enough, it. then you'll just make more. I just realized I won't have enough. Okay. Entonces, vamos a aplicarlo todo aquí. De acuerdo? Oh, that we need hot. to shine. It has to shine, right? Yeah, it'll be shiny. You want to cover the entire surface. Okay, tiene que estar brilloso y tiene que estar cubierto toda la superficie. And just make sure that it's not too runny because that will mess up the consistency when you start to actually paint. Okay. So it needs to be covered but not overly covered. Okay. Like Dice mine is overly covered right now. I'm going to have to remove some of it with a paper towel. Oh, you, okay. So the reason you do this is because these chemicals will help the oil dry faster once it's applied. Okay. Dice que vamos a cubrir toda la superficie, pero no tiene que estar muy, muy gruesa. Si llegamos, si llegamos a ver que está muy, muy gruesa, entonces vamos a quitarlo con una toallita. No napkin at paper towel or it's Okay. Can I use a napkin? Um, I would use a paper towel just because there's less less fallout. You don't okay. want the fibers to stick into your painting. Also, I shouldn't have called this chemical. I don't think this is actually harmful. I made it sound like it was really bad. It's not bad. <laughs> Le pregunté que si podía utilizar servilletas y me dijo que no, que debemos de tener una toallita así como para no dejar residuos en, el, en la cosa esta. And, uh, okay. So it needs to it needs to shine, but not too shiny. Yeah. Lienzo. Este es el lienzo. Nunca me acordé de la palabra, pero es lienzo. So how's it looking? Let me see. Oh, hold on. Dice que cómo se ve, quiere ver. Ok. How does, how does it look like? Oh, that looks good. Yeah, that's great. Sí. Did okay. I miss a spot, right? You probably won't reach that far, but yeah, you can cover it. Ok, now for the fun part. Yay. <laughs> ok, it's, it's already happening. Yeah, so now it's time to paint. And. Ok, entonces ahorita ya vamos a. Pintar. Oh. So now using your blue, any of them, you're going to lay out all your paints and you're not going to put a huge amount of paint on your palette. I mean, enough to cover, but not like for much. instance, I'm only doing uh, a finger, like a dime amount, I guess. I might use more um, if I need more, I'll use it, but. That's what I'm going to put down for now. Ok, dice que vamos a poner todas las pinturas que vamos a utilizar. Ahorita tenemos tres. Tenemos el azul talo, el magenta y el blanco. Entonces vamos a dejar bien poquito y ese poquito lo vamos a estar utilizando. Ok, si se fijan como ella lo está haciendo, ahí está. 
poniendo diferente. Should, should I put them in the same spot? No, oh. separate them. Ok. Yeah. Le pregunté que si quería ponerlo, si lo podía poner en lugares juntos. Me dijo que no, en lugares separados. Somos like monster. What? It's almost looks like monster. Really? The consistency? Yes. <laughs> I think that's too much, but it's okay. Digo que parece mayonesa. No, mostaza. Okay. Muy bien. Listo. Ya tenemos las tres pinturas ahí. ¿Y ahora qué? Now what? So now using the same brush you use to cover the background. O sea, the same brush, el mismo cepillo, el mismo pincel. Yeah. Okay. You're going to dip that. So what we're doing right now is we're just covering the whole canvas with the color you just laid down. So the, the I don't know what colors you got. Um, I have like red and well, it's almost like a magenta and a blue. So I'm going to just lay those colors out randomly wherever I want. And that's what you're going to do too. You just have to cover the whole canvas and you don't have to use much. I have barely okay. any paint and you're just putting it everywhere. Just lightly. You want to make sure that it's not stuck too in thick. chunks anywhere, okay. not too thick. You can barely see it, but you'll see it when you add the white. Ok. So, yeah. Dice que vamos a agarrar el mismo cepillo y vamos a elegir el color que sea y pintarlo hacia lo que sea, nada más. Ok. Entonces, pues vamos a. Ok, I, I'm having my first painting course. Yeah. Ok. ¿Is this too much? ¿Esto es mucho? That should be good. Eso yeah. está bien. Just make sure you spread it all over. Okay, the chist is esparcirlo en todo lugar, okay? The chist is esparcirlo por todos lados. No sé para qué, pero vamos a esparcirlo. Do you have any clue what are we going to do? No, you're going to make up whatever you want and apply it. Ok, entonces le pregunté que si teníamos alguna idea de qué es lo que íbamos a hacer. Dijo que no. El chiste es nomás hacerlo. So, totally up one. to you and your imagination. Ok, one color or the two colors, the red and the blue. Yeah, both of them. Okay, si les digo, pregunté que si los dos colores o nada más uno. Okay, los dos. And you can overlap the colors if you want a purple, or you can have them separate. Just make sure you're covering the entire canvas in a color. They don't have to be entirely mixed or anything. Okay, what are you using? You're using your... My brush broke, so I'm just using... <laughs> <laughs> I have to glue it back. They always do this, so. Uh, yeah. I, I, did, I, I think that wasn't in the list. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't actually paint with this. It's just for applying, so. Okay. Le pregunté que qué era lo que traía en la mano. Pero es que era un pincel roto. Entonces dije, ¿por qué no lo tiene en la lista? Eso no se vale. <laughs> sí. Muy bien. Así, randomly. Okay, can I use the same brush for the other? The other color, you want to use a different brush. A different brush, okay. Yeah. Le pregunté que se podía usar el mismo pincel para el... ¿Cuál? O sea, ¿cuál que chingas cuál? ¿Qué sea o qué? Pues este. Pues voy a agarrar otro pincel con el color rojo y a ver qué pedo. Okay. So whenever you're done, let me know. I don't know when I'm done. And whenever it's covered, <laughs> then you're done. 
Ok. Dije que no sé cuándo estoy listo. So let me see. Let Hold me on. see what it looks like. I just want to make sure you're not, you're not overthinking it. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Me quiere, digo, quiere saber si lo pinté feo o algo. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm ready whenever you are. Así que ya está lista, pero yo no. A ver, let's see. What does so, it look put it at an angle. Let me see. Okay, it looks good. Yeah, it bien? looks good. That looks good. Okay, dice que sí se ve bien. Entonces vamos a seguirle. Okay. okay, so now this is truly, this is the fun part. It's the I don't care part. <laughs> You're going to grab your palette knife. My this, palette knife. Okay. This little plastic tool. And you're going to dip it into your paint, your white paint. And there's no specific way to do this. It's either you can like scoop it. You can try to create texture like this on the okay. bottom. It doesn't really matter. You're just putting it on the canvas wherever you want, like this. Okay. Fíjense lo que vamos a hacer. Vamos a agarrar esta espátula chiquilla que está aquí. Es muy parecida a la de ella. No hay una forma de cómo hacerlo. Lo único que haces es, pues, le echas ahí, este, pues, la pintura y empiezas a mover como sea. So, Entonces, esta apply... es la parte divertida. Aquí es donde puedes empezar a moverle ahí tu chompa para ver, no sé, a lo mejor alguna nebulosa que se te ocurra, que no sé qué vamos a hacer todavía, pero ahí como que intento. Ok, you were saying sorry. When you apply it, you want to make sure that you keep the white in there still. So don't, don't just drag it along. Just kind of like tap it. And then when you're done, wipe off the entire palette knife on your, your uh, paper towel. So that way you don't have the color in your white when you reapply the white. Okay. Flaca. Okay. Puedes traerme una camisa o sucia que ya no use para pintarla. Voy a echar el, el blanco. Estoy echándole más blanco yo. ¿Por qué? Porque sí, se me antoja. Ok. So you don't have to do the entire canvas. It can just be a little bit like what I did. Totally up to you. Whatever okay. you feel like doing. Whatever I feel like doing. Ok. Mm -hmm. Entonces dice que no tengo que hacerlo igual como ella, pero sí como... I can't grab this thing. I don't know why. Okay, yeah. Tengo que agarrarlo bien. Okay. <laughs> Muy bien. So this is the farm part. Okay. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> what do I do? Okay, I don't know. Let me let me see your palette brush. Let me make sure you don't have it on there too much. Like you don't want to make okay. you don't want it to be a big glob. You want it to be like flat along your okay, palette flat, knife. Flat, 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 yeah, flat. so you say it's like a big glob. You don't want to do that because it's going to stick. And then that section okay. will take like a month to dry. Yeah, that's ah, really okay. So, dice que, que si tenía como que muy gruesecito todo esto, si va a tardar como un mes en secar. Entonces, por eso él dijo que lo pusiera un poquito más delgado, pues para que lo pudiera pintar. Entonces, pues, ¿qué, qué hago? Chingado, a ver, pues no sé, vamos a ver. Okay, I'm supposed to be being creative. Yeah. <laughs> Aquí es donde se supone que tengo que ser creativo. Okay, here is a, a friend. 
like Bob Ross. I don't know. Remember? Yeah, Bob Ross. <laughs> no sé si recuerdan a Bob Ross ustedes, pero por ejemplo que decía, no, aquí está una nebulosa, tiene una nebulosa amiga y que sí, sí. ¿Y es la única? No, no, para limpiar esto. How's it looking? I don't know. <laughs> okay, that's way too much. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, no. Okay, you might want to scoop off some of that white okay. and then just leave the excess because it looks great. But there's too much white. It's going to turn your whole canvas white. <laughs> okay. What do I do? So right. let me let me see it. So just like take your palette knife and just scoop off some okay. of the white there. Because it's um it's too Dice thick. que me la bañé, que es demasiado. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking good, though. I really like the pattern that you're creating. <laughs> Okay, grab another canvas, please. <laughs> <laughs> Round two already. <laughs> Let me see what you're doing before you remove too much. I want to make sure <laughs> you're not removing too much. <laughs> I don't know. You right, still cool. need to remove a lot, I think. Come, wait. Uh, so the section to the right, it's my right. I don't know what it is. This to one. You. Yes. You should definitely remove some of the white on there. Okay. Um, maybe just like scoop off half of it because it's going to be blended out and it'll look pretty when it's done. You want to keep some of the white, but not a lot. Dice que sí me la bañé, compas. Que es mucho. Que. Okay. It's turning awesome like blue, it blue and, and purple. Is that Oh, okay? that's good. That's good. Yeah. That's great. Le dije que se está haciendo como que moradito y, y azul. <coughs> No sé qué estoy haciendo, pero ella me dijo, entonces lo estoy haciendo, estoy haciendo como ella me dijo. How's it, how's it looking? All right, hold on, let's see. How's it now? Can move it closer. Okay, yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Okay, dice que se ve mejor, que yeah. ya no la regué tanto. Okay. You like no what? Okay, so now. Take okay, it's very different. Okay. Your fluffy brush. My fluffy brush. This one. So this is where we're gonna have a problem because I think your brush is going to be too hard of a bristle. Okay. It needs to be the texture of like a makeup brush, just like very fine. <clears throat> um, should I if, should I go funding one? If you have one, or if you have one in the brush packs that you bought that happens to be like soft, you could no, go for one of those. Because I think I saw that you <coughs> had watercolor brushes, and those are actually pretty good for oil. Okay, no. So if you want, yeah, I don't think that that one's definitely not going to work. I wouldn't even risk using it. <laughs> okay. Let me see what other brushes you have. I have. Well, I have the other thing, the other one you told me. Um, yeah, that's too, that one's going to be too yeah. hard. That's, 
that's anything that's this. a shape like this is what you'll want. So it's, it has to it has to be very soft, right? It has to be really soft. So just like feel through all your brushes and see what the softest one is. It can't be okay. it can't be a hard like uh, <clears throat> bristle though. Okay. Like these are watercolor brushes that I have. Um, so they're super, super soft. Okay, let me see if I can get one. ¿Tienes uno de maquillaje que me regales o no? O uno como este. Y te compro otro. Ya, ya, igual uno. How about this one, Lanchin? This is a makeup. Oh yeah, that's that's perfect. That's exactly what perfect. I want. Sí, Sorry, I'm trying to find one. Find one. I just told my wife I'm going to buy two more of this. Oh. <laughs> okay, hopefully this lighting is. Oh, okay. Muy bien. Entonces, es uh, let's see. We're losing light over here. <laughs> we'll see how long it lasts on the, uh, it's getting pretty dark. Okay. So now we're going to do moving in a circular motion or whatever motion. So your design is more straight out. I don't know if moving in a circular motion would be helpful to making your design what you want. For me, this is what I'm, the motion I'll need to do. Okay. Since I don't know what I'm doing, I can going to do circular from the center to the... Oh, no. Don't go from the center. So no. if, if you do that, it'll make your whole painting one color. <laughs> okay. So you want to stay away from the white. Stay away from the white. So okay. it's kind of... I wonder if this light looks... See. <laughs> this light this light is not white. It's colored. I don't know what to do. Um, okay. okay. So... You don't want to touch the white because the white is kind of your design. You want to okay, touch yeah. on the outside of it barely. So think of like just tickling your hand with the brush, barely touching your hand. That's what you would do on the canvas. Okay. Dice so que, you're not sí. applying a lot of pressure. And no más le vamos a estar haciendo así, pero no le tocamos el blanco. Entonces. You don't touch the parts of the painting that you like. So you want to work from the outside and work in, but I normally don't. I normally just work the very outside of the sections that I just created. And if you're having trouble, you can just um, see what I'm doing <laughs> <laughs> to see if it helps. At all. You can you control your canvas if you want. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting really dark on my over here I'm trying to figure out the okay. lighting situation. Okay, dice que le empieza a hacer así del circular, ¿verdad? Bien delgadito, bien delgadito. I think I need to get um a light. Hang on. Let me get it. Okay, dice que va a ir por Oh, it's turning another right. color. Se está cargando de otro color bien bañado, güey. Is that light good? I don't know. Okay, we're now yellow. <laughs> Lighting looks really interesting, but it's fine. So you want to make sure you're not overworking everything you just applied. You only blend out the sections on the outside and then you just don't touch it anymore because once you over blend it, there's no going back and fixing it. <laughs> it's, it's too late. <laughs> oh yeah. How, how's it going? It was okay. uh, I don't know. Uh, let's see. How does it look like? 
Oh, that looks beautiful. That really? looks beautiful. Yeah. Okay, you're getting the hang of it. You see how like see? the blue is coming into the white, how it's kind yeah. of changing. The... Yeah. So that's that's what you want. Okay. Dice que sí me está saliendo bien. So I'm not supposed to touch the white in the center, or you're touching the white in the center. You'll want to keep. You'll want to keep some of the white because that's going to be like the light source okay. behind the nebula. Um, but you keep what you want, and then you blend out what you don't want. Okay, me dice que puedo dejar el gris y el gris, el blanco. Ah, la verga, si se ve con madre. I'm thinking about $1,000 for this. <laughs> <laughs> I think you could do it. I think that's a good price. I think I'm going to earn $1,000 in this pedo. Okay. I think I'm good. So whenever you're ready to move on to the next step. Hold on, hold on. Dice que ya está lista ella, nada más falto yo. Ah, se ve con madre. Look at this. Oh, that looks good. So if you ever find that your paint, your brush has too much paint on it, you wipe it on the paper towel that you have. Okay. Um, I normally don't. I know that most people wipe it in between like a stroke. They're like, they paint a little and then they do that and they, I personally don't do it that much. Okay. But if you find that you need to do that, make sure you if do I that find. because okay, let's see how otherwise it, it just keeps blending into your piece. So for the next part of the painting, okay, la segunda parte de la pintura, you're gonna add details. Details. Yeah. I have detail files. Mm -hmm. yeah. I remember the, the the movie of the Terminator. Oh yeah. <laughs> with, an, with another brush, which one? With this one. So you're gonna use the really tiny brush. Tiny brush. Okay, vamos a agarrar el pincel más chiquitillo que tengamos. And you're going to dip it into your white. Vamos a irnos al blanco. And for this, you might want to add a little bit of gal kit, or sorry, um, you're using, the other I one. don't even know, it's uh, liquid. You might want to add a little bit of that and a little bit of linseed if you find <laughs> that the consistency is too thick. Okay. This just makes it a little more transparent but it's up to you it's up to you i really don't know so perhaps we can try it Dijo que depende de mí, pero pues realmente no sé qué pedo. i'm going to do just a tiny drop of it like a raindrop like, not even a raindrop size smaller than that with this one the, the yeah the just like a little tiny droplet next to the white because you'll be using that for stars too, so it helps mix it in. <clears throat> and then you'll blend that into your white with your detail brush. 
and then you'll dip your brush into the white. But when you dip it in, make sure you're swirling it to kind of get off that excess paint so it's not globbed onto your brush, if that makes sense. Okay. Dice que nada más con que no esté muy espeso ahí. Okay, let's, like this. Yeah, so you'll like spin it on. You'll spin With it my like finger. this. No, 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 oh, on the uh, okay. palette. Like spin it on the outside of mm -hmm. the white paint to kind of just get rid of the clumps. So it's not a lot of paint when you add it. Okay. You want it to be as little, the smallest amount of white paint touching the canvas because you don't want to cover up all your color. So when you're adding the details, you want to look at your piece and you want to go, okay, well, where in a nebula would have these, you know, these epic details, okay. it's like some webbing, you can go for webbing, just kind of imagine your favorite nebula, whatever that may be. And start adding in details where you'd see the light source being so okay. or wherever there are already natural there should be spots within your painting that would look nice if they had a detail added to it so like for me here would be nice because it connects these two so i'm just doing like a little swirling design oh we're doing Okay, not stars. We can do whatever no, we want. No, not stars, not yet. So, not yet. Let's see. So, uh, okay, yeah. Here's the detail I added here, but I'm going to blend it. So, it doesn't matter what it looks like now. And I'm just kind of connecting all the nebula together to make it look like it belongs, pretty much. Okay, bueno, lo que me dijo es de que, por ejemplo, vamos a ponerle este colorcito así pero vas a empezar a imaginarte dónde podría tener eh, alguna conexión, no sé, cómo te gusta la, la, la nebula, la nebulosa. And then using your blending brush, you just blend out the edges of it very lightly. And I have a smaller blending brush for this, but you can also use the large one. And you don't want to touch the entire part of the detail. You just want to touch the edges of it. con madre flaca mira su mamá You were right about the, it is very easy to remove. Mm -hmm. No sé, estoy agarrando otro porque nomás la ando cagando. No sé qué estoy haciendo, pero vamos a intentarle, ¿va? Ella me dijo que le hiciera delgadito, así es de que vamos a hacerle bien delgadito. Ok. How's it going? Do you like how it's turning out? It's supposed to be like streets or something? Yeah, pretty much just whatever you imagine. I always think of like the Veil Nebula or the Crab Nebula, you know, those magnificent designs that are in there. So nothing is, you can kind of create whatever you want because there's so many different ways that Nebula can look well, 
este no era, era este. Mine is so busy. There's a lot going on. ¿Qué rayos es aquí? Mia. Oh yeah. Did you add it on the outside too, or did you blend that out? Uh, I really don't know. I just. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no supe si lo mezclé o no, pero se está viendo con madre, ¿no? That looks really cool. Sí. I think like the most important part is just bl like blending everything out. And you can always add blue or your colors on top and kind of try again. Like if you felt like you didn't like it, you could technically wipe everything off and then try again, which is really nice because if you're using any other medium, you could never do that. <laughs> okay. So I can, uh, if I want to use a blue, I can use the same brush and add it on the top. Um, well, you'd have to add it in a section that doesn't have, a lot of white in it otherwise it'll just keep turning blue you know okay um but i was just saying it's it's optional like i'm adding blue to certain areas because i like it how it looks darker in those areas Me saco madre porque, por ejemplo, nada más estamos usando dos colores. Bueno, el, el blanco y el azul. Y los hizo morado. Quién sabe qué pedo. ¿Se me explicó? O sea, nada más así el chilazo. Bueno, no quiero ni moverle, güey, porque se ve con madre. Do you like it? I like it. You like it? Yes. <laughs> This is my precious. Me gusta. Yo creo que. I'm... How do you do that? I, I was. Okay. <gasps> What? <laughs> 
I have a lot of details in mind. This was not planned. It just kind of <laughs> happened. <laughs> There's a lot going on in mine. Is your head? I guess so, yeah. <laughs> See, this is fun, isn't it? <laughs> okay. I, 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 okay. I have plenty of paint. Uh, I have plenty of paint. I mean, we didn't use it that much. And I mean, it's great. Okay, déjame la muevo aquí este pedo porque ya se, se ve bien feo este pedo. So this will be driving like in a week. What? Are you talking to me? Yeah, sorry. Oh, I couldn't hear you. So this will be like very dry in a week, perhaps? No, it should. I mean, depending on how much white you put down, it might take a week. <laughs> okay, perhaps one a month. <laughs> yeah, maybe a month. Um, but normally it's within 24 hours. It just, it honestly depends. Because for me, sometimes I use all the products and then it takes a while and I don't know what I did wrong. And I think that has to do with how much paint I end up using. Okay, Okay, so once you are done then it's I guess, time to add I, I the guess stars. i'm done <laughs> i guess i'm done yeah honestly you could just keep going back over it for hours and hours i swear because there's so many details that you could just add okay hold on. it's hard it's hard for me to even be like oh it's done but the great thing about oils is that you can go back and start painting over it and it doesn't affect anything that you've created you could just keep adding to it you could even change the color of the entire painting if you wanted it's yeah very versatile okay dice que la ventaja de que estás pintando en las en aceite pues es de que puedes volver a empezar si la regaste okay yeah so the next step is to add the stars el siguiente paso es agregar las, las estrellas <coughs> No agregamos el rojo, yo no agregué rojo. Me agrego rojo a ver qué pedo. So, to add the stars can be pretty messy, but I'll tell you how to do it. Um, you also, you would need oh, a... like this. You would need a fan brush, but I know you don't have a fan brush, so you could do um, a detail brush that's um a little bigger than this one 
Can I use a uh, It needs to be decently thick because you're going to be like flinging it, you know? Yeah. Can or I use a... Uh, you could... Uh, oh, yeah. You could use a toothbrush. A toothbrush. Pásame el cepillo de dientes. Or... Or you can just use the back of your paintbrush. Yes, I'm going to use it. a toothbrush. Okay, but to warn you, it's going to go it's everywhere. This, yeah, like this. So that's the only... I don't know if you're in an environment where it's safe uh, to do that. Because I, I can't do it where I'm at because I'm in a carpeted room. So I'm just going to use my brush to dot it. Cause... El mío, flaca, como que tengo... <laughs> Muy bien. Dice, dice que para poder agregar las estrellas tenemos que ser pues aventar las, la pintura hacia el, a lo a lo bestia, ¿no? Como dice. Entonces lo que voy a hacer es de que voy a usar un cepillo de dientes y lo voy a agarrar y lo voy a hacer así. ¡Ah! Ok, that's two stars. But... <laughs> Muy bien. Are you going to try the paintbrush? Or the, the toothbrush? Or are you going to just... Yes. Ok, so if you're going to do that, you're going to have to get your your uh, liquid okay and you're gonna have to dab it on there and make sure it's at the consistency that's watery enough but not too it is when you put it to the canvas it's the color is gonna disperse and okay it's not gonna turn into a star <laughs> okay so the consistency has to be thick but not too thick thin enough for you to fling it but yeah Okay, muy bien. Sorry, that's so confusing. Mm, it's okay. It's all about practice, so we can try it. Okay, dice que le vamos a echar este liquidito. Si le vamos a echar este liquidito, pues a mi cepillo de dientes. Y mi cepillo de dientes, pues le voy a echar pintura. Okay, I'm not, I'm not using the white paint right i'm using only the this stuff no 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 you're gonna mix that with the white paint okay to make it the consistency that is thin enough to flick because the oil paint alone is so thick that you can't flick it okay you want to keep it on Bueno, yo estoy preparando mi cepillo de dientes con ese rollo. ¿Ok? Entonces, pues dijo que no muy... Uf. ¡Oh! <risa> ya pinté todo el micrófono, la chingada. <risa> ¿Es la consistencia buena? Creo que es buena. But I already painted the microphone, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It can it can wipe off really easily. It's not gonna really? stick, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, but we dice que no se Oh yeah, even with with the finger. Dice que le estaba diciendo que micrófono se pintó. Okay. Yo la que Okay, bueno. Well. Muy bien. Vamos uh -huh. para acá para empezar a poner las estrellas. A ver. Oh. Oh, se con ganas. It looks great. Does it look good? Yeah. <laughs> Some I created the universe with a lot of stars. Mm. 
So with the brush, I'm going to add the the stars that oh. are bigger, right? More. I just lost you. Sorry. I was just saying that with the brush, we're going oh, to add there you the are. stars more bigger, right? Bigger stars. Yeah, just make it totally random. Uh, depending on the amount of paint that you add, you can do like larger stars or smaller stars. But if you want like a really big star, you would probably hand dot that just to be on the safe side. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, that looks so cool. <laughs> <laughs> that looks so cool. Stars really make it. Yeah. Estoy pintando ya con madre, pero... <laughs> Te saco en mar este pedo. <laughs> Yo aquí un chingo de estrellas porque pues como ahí donde nacen las estrellas ahí. Ok, creo que ahí la regué, pero voy a poner una estrella más chingona. Uh, por ejemplo, este. ¿Se corrige este pedo? Bueno, ella hizo otra, pero pues miren cómo se ve con madre. That's me falta... pretty. ¿Sí? ¿Cómo That's se ve? That's pretty. It turned out great. Wow, that is so cool. Magazine? That is so cool. Looks like an explosion. A star yeah. exploding. Eh? Una cara? A face. Eh, se parece a Dios, era. Con una corona. Yeah, you, look, you can see this. You try to look to find the face it looks like a lion a like, lion it looks like um the look lion. at the face oh my gosh it does look like a face <laughs> can oh you see the gosh. face it looks like a ice man <laughs> ice, like a, a ice monster whoa that is really cool <laughs> you have to share that to instagram that is so cool it's it really looks like a face. Right. <laughs> I kind of like that, though. <laughs> I'm going to add the, the eyes of this. <laughs> Man, that actually turned out really, really dope. Okay. it's For my first time, I think it's good. So I need to add the stars, right? The bigger ones you can add with the back of your brush. And I would say to blend them out, like a couple of them, but I know you don't have a smaller brush. You could try your detail brush that you had. Okay. Um, and you would just dot a star and then you would go in a circular motion to kind of make it look like a starburst, you know? ¿Cuántos los vieron desde el principio? Nadie.
I think I'm going to add a red color. Oh yeah, that would look cool. Vamos a agregar un color rojo nada más para ver como una virus o santo. ¿Qué materiales se necesitan? Bueno, pusimos... Mira, usamos el... el que son? Pinturas de, de aceite. Ok, este es de color blanco. Este es de magenta. Y de color azul. Ok. Y luego ya nada más pinceles, espátula y pues un, un lienzo de color negro, lo único que usamos. Y aquí nada más estoy pintando aquí, haciendo pegando el Mickey porque pues se ve chido. Pero mira ya lo que hizo ella. Mira, ese está con ganas. Oh, you just cut out. I was just watching the, the the brightest star that you blew out, right? Yeah. Okay, and let me try that. So you'll want to use your your smaller detail brush for that. That will probably be the easiest way to get that effect. In circular, right? Yeah. Just okay, going like a look around the paint. And I, it should be pretty easy. I I don't do it that way, but I've seen people do it that way. So I know it can be done. And then if you happen to get any hair in your painting, because the bristles fall out of the brush. Oh, you don't have the brush. You would use your fan brush or even like a pair of tweezers, toothpick to kind of like scoop it off the painting without ruining it. Okay. Ok, como aquí ya no tengo idea de qué vamos a hacer, voy a ponerle todo. Que suma. ¿Quién sabe qué hice? Déjame le agrego ahí un color blanco. No es una...
muy curioso este pedo. How's yours looking? I um, mean, the same, but it's almost the same. I'm watching yours, it's very beautiful. Thank you. So, whenever you're done, then you can add your signature. My signature? Yeah, you gotta make it official for when you sell it. <laughs> I mean, there's a face in that painting, and. <laughs> I'm watching you is going to be the title of it. So to add your signature, you'll just use your tiniest detail brush and you should have enough liquid in there still from before and you'll just, uh, Write your signature. It's so hard to do, though. I suck <laughs> at writing my signature. I just keep wiping it off and redoing it every time. It's so hard. Dice que va a poner su, 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 su firma. Oh my gosh, it already looks so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Time to wipe it off. O sea, ¿cómo se llama esta? ¿Cómo se ve, güey? Control C, wipe it off. Control. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, con este no se ve porque aquí es mal. Pues ahí quedó ya. Se ve muy acá. Ok, vamos a ponerle mis mis, o sea, mis iniciales, ¿no? Mi firma con mi firma. A la madre, ¿cómo es mi firma? It's, it's a decent signature. <laughs> So hard. That's my signature. I suck. I know, mind you. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't say anything. <laughs> it doesn't say that. I just... mean, that kind of looks like the typical artist's signature, though. You can never read what it <laughs> says. You like can't. 
you can't read it at all. Not legible. <coughs> Ahí está. Oye, se ve con ganas, se ve muy bien. My signature is not even all the way on the edge. I didn't even put it to the edge. Whoops. It's very entertaining watching you. Oh my gosh, the signature is so... I didn't even fit my whole name. <laughs> I didn't even I'm just gonna wipe it off sometimes I um, just don't put my signature and I'll, I'll put it on when the painting sells because it's easier to try again when the painting's not all wet you know okay that was really bad anyways um, I think I I'm gonna go grab my other light though okay. to show you what this looks like in not this orange lighting. Dice que voy por la luz para que nos enseñe cómo va con la I'm going to go grab it really fast. Sí. Yo pinté todo el escritorio cuando estaba haciendo las estrellas, es de que no hay pedo. Le agarré maquillaje de mi señora. Entonces, ¿de qué, qué vamos a hacer? Ahora, este es mi primer cuadro. ¿Sí? Déjenme pongo yo aquí en medio. Mi primer cuadro, ¿cómo quedó? A ver cómo se ve. ¿Se ve chido o no? Si se fijan, parece, creo que es este... Es una cara, ¿no? That looks so good. Sí. ¿Dónde estás? Ah, ya te vi, está bien. Mira, fue por otra. Y si se fijan, pues del, vamos como una hora y media, pero platicamos como diez minutillos nomás. Entonces, en una hora y diez minutos podemos hacer esto. Bueno, mejor, ¿verdad? Pero chequen el de el de Lanchen. Yeah, this is your <laughs> Pero ahí se ve más o menos el de ella. It's so reflective. It's like hard to uh, to see. Hi, buddy. Ahí está. Se ve con madre. Mira. It's a wow. little better. The color a changes. Little better. No. I don't know great. why in the background I'm like orange. The the painting in person is very much like blue and purple but it's looking very red on camera for some reason dice que es un poquito más morado y, y todo pero por alguna razón se ve rojo pero no está mejor se ve muy bien it looks great thanks so that's how you do it painting está con ganas Está muy bonito. And now I have paint all over my desk. Yeah, I know. I already paint my my desk. Oh no. Yeah, just make sure you wipe it off pretty my fast. In my microphone. Well. Yeah, if you wipe it off, you should be okay. Just make sure you wipe it yes. off now. Now. <laughs> yeah, definitely now. Just in case. No, pues se ve con madre. Ay. Pero mira que bonito. I like how you made the stars. Me gustó como hiciste las estrellas. I wish the color temperature was a little more accurate. It's bugging if, me. If I want to add some more details after, I don't know, perhaps later, there's no problem, right? 
Uh, you're cutting out. Sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Ah, sorry. I was just asking if I want to add more details to the painting, I don't know, later, perhaps another couple of days. It's okay. It won't be any problem with the painting? No, uh-uh. As long as it's dry. If you touch it, it's, dry. yeah, if you okay. touch it and it's tacky, then don't paint over it yet. But when it's totally dry, yeah. Okay, dice que, digo, como quiera le estaba preguntando que si hay alguna bronca, porque si pintamos del luego, pero dice que no, mientras esté seco. Pues sí, pero como quiera nada más quería checar. Ok. Oye, pues muy, muy bien. Este es el mío. I like it. I just, I can't get over the face. <laughs> I can't get over the face. I like the face a lot. This is a face. Look at this. That is so. It looks like a bearded ice man. See. <laughs> right. It's <laughs> so funny. Like, what are the odds? Oops. <laughs> wow. Se ve con ganas. Okay. Let me chill. ¿Y dónde los vendes esos? Where do you sell the yours? Um, I your, sell on my your website. Web page. Website. Yeah. Lanchandesigns.com. I don't really do releases often. So when I do, I talk about it on Instagram and I let my email list know that a release is coming up and then they get launched and they're only available usually for a day. A day, really. Mm -hmm. So you sell them in a day? Normally within like a couple of hours. Whoa, I think the fastest I ever sold out, it was like my first time ever selling out like that too, it was like 90 minutes. Maybe it was less than that. It was like 10 pieces. I couldn't believe it. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, but I'll be coming out with a new collection soon of resin okay and, oh i could actually show you i have a piece in the making si me estaba preguntando que qué rollo no que donde vende sus cosas pero le venden la página de internet y que la más rápida que se le ha vendido son 90 minutos so this is from my new collection but it's not this is made with like a hard plastic okay no no andy um you can't really tell on camera. These are the kinds of pieces that you have to see in person because they're made with like eight layers of plastic. So they're hard. <laughs> they're indestructible pretty much. Mira, que bonito. So very different. You don't paint these. You just pour them with a bunch of different colored pigments. And then after 24 hours, it dries. Okay. Oh, so I have to wipe the paint off my brushes, right? Yeah, I totally realized you need to get linseed oil. Not linseed. Oh my gosh, what's it called? Paint thinner. Paint thinner. Thinner. To clean your brushes. But honestly, okay. but honestly, I mean, your brushes weren't super expensive, right? <laughs> no, that fifty dollars each. No, nah, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. No. This this is my most expensive brush. These like paint brush, uh, these um like makeup brushes are so expensive, like twenty five dollars for one to like fifty dollars. I'm not even kidding. No, I I I choose the cheapest one. Okay, good. Um, yeah, because I was, I don't know, I, uh, I wanted to have the, the right brand of the paint, but in the brushes, I was, I, I decided to choose the, the cheapest one. Yeah, honestly, the paint is very important. So that was a good choice. Maybe. Um, but 
if you don't have paint thinner, I don't know why I forgot to tell you to buy paint thinner. Paint thinner is very expensive anyways. It's like $30 for a thing this big. Mm -hmm. And it's just to clean your brushes. So <laughs> you're, you're just going to have to toss your brushes because unless you have paint thinner. <laughs> <laughs> no, but vamos a buscar. If I, if it dries, it doesn't, if it dries the paint in the brush, it's useless. Yeah, it's going to turn rock hard. It's oh, not going to... Yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I I didn't even tell you to get a paint palette. Like, thank goodness you were smart enough to know, oh, the paint's got to go somewhere. <laughs> okay, so let me... Let me Unless you have paint can... thinner on hand. No, I think it... Because some people do have that, like, in their tool shed or... Or if you've like painted your house, you might have some. No, ahí está. Creo que sí lo salvé. Ahí está. No pude muy bien. So you're adding more stuff to it. Um, no, I'm actually just picking out hair with this little brush oh, really yeah my well i have cats and my cat keeps jumping on me he's in my lap right now so it's kind of like i don't normally paint up here i have a studio downstairs okay. <laughs> um yeah i just like them to be clear of any yes. sort of hair or dust if i can help it and then when it's drying i'll store it in a dust-free room so I have an area that has a air purifier, so the paintings wow. dry really pretty. Este ya lo, okay. Dry air purifier. Mm, interesting. Mm -hmm. Bueno, estoy limpiando los cepillos. Okay, very good. Interesting. Well, you did really good. Do you think you'll try it again? I think I, I, I did. I, I, I will. Yeah? Oh, that's good. Yeah. Because I, I have another canvas. So they're not too expensive. I can try again. You should. Just go buy paint thinner. <laughs> 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 Since I didn't tell you the and first I mean, time. I mean, there, it's a lot of paint here. Yeah, oil goes a long way. Like, look how much paint I have left. I used too much. Yeah, I know. Just thinking that I would use it all, but it's always, I always use too much. This is my own fault. I know better, but here, here we are. <laughs> Perhaps I will shoot paint my telescope or something. Oh, that would be really, really cool. I think you can use oil on plastic. I think you can on like metal and stuff. I don't know. I'm so new to oil. I really don't know too, too much about it. I just know I can make space. <laughs> Well, at least I didn't make a mess. The worst part about painting in oils is cleaning the brushes. <laughs> That's the worst part, which you won't get to experience um, yet, but... Because I don't have brushes. You don't have the stuff, <laughs> but you have to use... Um, you have to clean them multiple times, and then you have to brush them out with a, a comb okay. through the bristles to break up the oil, and then you have to clean them again. Mm -hmm. And then you have to, like, wipe them down on um, paper towel, brush them out. These go through, in order for these to actually survive oil paints, I have to clean them about four times. 
which is crazy. <laughs> Four times every time you use them. Every time I use them. Even and tiny many, ones like this. And how many brushes do you use? What are your favorite ones? Oh, my favorite ones are these. So these are all for different types of blending. So all of the blending that I did on the outside, mm -hmm. you can get different types of looks depending on what you use. So if you want something that looks more, mm, more like a fog, I would say, would be the round brush. If you want more lines, wispies would be this, this bristle, this like flat headed. What is this one called exactly? Uh, oval mop brush. So these are all oval mop brushes in different sizes and different lengths and textures. And they all give you different results. But these are the best because this is where the but best those brushes, but, but, but those brushes are supposed to be makeup brushes, right? No, you can use makeup brushes, though. Like if you were just starting out and you're like, I don't want to go buy a brush for $24 because... Okay. Why would you, you know, you could get a makeup brush set from the 99 cent store. Yeah. Okay, and it's, it works just as well. So because it's very softy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like these are all watercolor brushes and it's so funny because oil brushes are, they're very thick bristled and it doesn't, I wonder if I have one actually. Oh, I do have one. It's hard to believe it's for oil, but I guess most oil painters do use an oil brush. But for what I do, it's a little different because you have to be very gentle with this process. But like this is a, um, you hear that? Yes, I can hear it. That's how hard this brush is. <laughs> so just imagine using an actual oil brush on this painting process. It would be nearly impossible. So yeah. Um, makeup brushes are the way to go or any soft, soft brush. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Oh, I'm going to plug my computer in really fast. It's about to die. Oh my goodness. Pues ahí está. Genial. Está todo muy bien. Bueno, a mí me gustó. Another thing, when you are using paint thinners to clean your brushes, you need to do it outside or wear uh, <laughs> okay. like a respiratory mask because it's very toxic. Mm. It's very strong, so... Definitely don't do that inside your house. <laughs> It'd be really bad. And one last question, Lanchen. Mm -hmm. Do I have to put any other like thing oh, on top? Varnish. Varnish. Yeah, you could put varnish when you're done. So if you want to protect the oil painting, which you should, um, you would apply a varnish. I use a Gamblin varnish and you're supposed to wait six months for your painting to cure in order to apply the varnish. Cause six if months. Yeah. <laughs> this is why oil paintings are so pricey because okay, there's because a long waiting period before people can even actually sell the piece to a person that bought it because they can't even varnish it. If you varnish, okay. if you varnish it too soon, the painting will crack. Okay. Yeah. I feel like the Mona Lisa's cracked. I feel like I've seen photos of it up close and it's cr like slightly cracked. Um, or if you've seen an old painting, you've probably seen it before and you're like, oh, it's oil. That's how you know it's an oil painting because it's cracked. Because it's cracked. Yeah. Um, okay. I personally think it looks cool. It's obviously wrong. But yeah, so you wait six months and you can apply it. And then it's the good thing about the varnish is that you're able to clean it off. You could like spray it with water and wipe it down with a microfiber cloth and none of the particles will stick into anything. It'll just wipe clean off and look brand new. But if you don't varnish it, it's still going to look great because the color on oil 
pops so much because it's a highly pigmented paint, but it's not as protected and as archival. So, yeah. <laughs> wow. So wow, you want to varnish your paintings. <laughs> but until November, I think. Yeah, you're going to have to wait. So just <laughs> um, before you do varnish it, though, you have to make sure it's cleaned down because from sitting for a long period of time, it will collect dust. Yes. So you'll take like a soft brush or even like a fan brush and you kind of like go over it, pick out any dust that's kind of stuck inside of the paint and make sure it's clean, spray it with water, clean it off with a microfiber, make sure it's totally dry. And then you can apply <laughs> the varnish. <laughs> it's such a process. <laughs> it's easy, I swear. It just I'm making it sound like it's more than what it is. It's easy, but yeah. This is just to keep dust and hair out of your piece. Okay, very good. Yeah. Bueno, pues muy bien. Okay, Lanchen, um, thank you very much. Thank you yeah, very much for, for your time. Thank you very much for teaching me how to paint. <laughs> you did great. Please post yeah. that to Instagram. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to see like right. a, a better photo of it because I can't, it's not as clear on here as I would like it to okay. be. But that, that face is so stinking good. I like, oh wow, it actually is really good. Cool. <laughs> it does look like you put two stars in the eyes. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. I, you know, I enjoy it more because I see something in it. You know? Mm -hmm. It's more entertaining to look at because it looks like a face. <laughs> wow. It wasn't planned. I'm sorry. I know that's what's even better about it though. <laughs> Like maybe you watch some movie uh, and then it just manifested through your creativity. I don't even... <laughs> You know what it reminds me of? Oh my what? gosh, Krampus. Do you know what Krampus is? <laughs> no. Let me go Google it's it. a Christmas movie. You're gonna have to Google it. It's a Christmas movie. I haven't seen okay. it, but it's a, a scary Christmas movie about a elf that turns evil or something and there's a haunted house at universal studios and i've been through it and he's like an ice monster or something it looks like krampus i love K -R -A, it k-r-a right yeah k-r-a-m-p-u-s oh yeah, yeah, yeah i could i think i found it i don't know if the character looks how i'm imagining i might be totally wrong so <laughs> hold on i think is is this oh my gosh he's terrifying wait no <laughs> is this is that one right <laughs> yes yeah it reminds you of krampus but not that's not what he looks like in the movie i don't think okay in the haunted house I went in, he was like covered in snow. So I don't know. That looks really scary. Never mind. <laughs> Let's act like I didn't say that. Rewind. You know what he looks like? He looks like the snow the snow monster from Rudolph the Red no Rose Reindeer. <laughs> Rudolph the, the Claymation Reindeer. Rudolph. I forget. Yeah, that's what it's called. Oh my gosh. Mm. My okay. bad. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm thinking about the name of it. I don't know. You should ask everyone what you should name it. <laughs> do a do a vote. Do a vote. Okay. Okay. So Lanchin, before we go, mm -hmm. any advice? Any advice for the people that want to start with painting to just do it <laughs> okay. i don't think you necessarily well you don't really have to be if you like want to do art as a career you don't have to be the most amazing person most amazing artist 
to be an artist and be creative because I don't know. I just think that's really important to know because some people don't get started because they just think, oh, I'm not as good as all these other people. But that's not the case when it comes to art. Art is all about like the way that you look at a piece, the way that you express yourself, your story behind what you're creating and you, your story can't compare to anyone else. So never let you thinking you're not good enough or you're not going to be good enough, hold you back from just, you know, trying. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> let, me, let me say that in Spanish because I didn't say it. Yeah. <laughs> sí, digo, pues llegamos a, ya casi al final de la, <laughs> llegamos ya casi al final de, de la transmisión. Estuvimos pintando, este, platicando aquí un poquito. Eh, algo de lo que podemos o lo que nos comenta esta lancha, pues es de que si a ti te gusta pintar, si te fijas, no hay mucha gente que, que pinta el espacio. O sea, hay mucha gente que pinta otras cosas, pero artistas espaciales, así como ella, no hay. Entonces, para aquellas personas, si se fijan, pues yo hice este cuadrito en un ratito. A lo mejor no es el mejor cuadro, a lo mejor no es como que, wow, o sea, pintaste con madre, pero pues requiere práctica y si se fijan está muy padre la ventaja de esto es de que pues tú puedes pintar cosas abstractas me entiendes por ejemplo tú nada más dejas que la imaginación te deje y ir por donde sea entonces nos dice lanchen dice tú inténtalo tú anímate tú hazlo no dejes que tu pensamiento de que yo no soy bueno en esto te limite sino tú inténtalo tú dale síguele y, y anímate, ¿verdad? Y pues si se fijan, pues ella ya tiene muchos cuadros y los vende, ya se dedica a eso, este tiene, y pues agarró práctica, es pinta muy, muy bonito, ¿sí? I'm just saying that perhaps they're not, I mean, in the painting, in the community of painting, there are not too many people that paint space, you know, there are a few. So you are one of the few, and that's great. It's becoming more popular now. <laughs> because they're I see seeing a lot you. of people because, doing because, it now. Because they're seeing you, because you inspire perhaps another people. I sure so, hope so. I know yeah. Kat was like the first one I found that was doing it. And now so many people are doing it, which is great because it's, it's all women. And it's cool seeing women involved in space and actually being interested because most, I feel like it's odd to meet most women that, like most people aren't <laughs> in general. So it's really cool to see women interested in space and to have girls join the community. There's also some artists that are men as well, but like mostly now I see a lot of women. women. So yeah, it's really, it's great. I mean, we're spreading the word about space and mm -hmm. people really need to be aware of like what's out there and be focused I, I mean on. I, I think there's more women because of the the precise the, the, the details of the thing I don't know they're more uh, specific I don't know how to say it in English they're more detailed they have more fine uh, painting instead of the men and say ah okay like this yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's put a stars. Oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do have a few guy friends that do paint space. And yeah, they're super good. But yeah, I think maybe maybe women are more creative and then guys are more like build things. I don't know. <laughs> I don't okay. know. Yeah. Like maybe women like to paint more. I guess that could be maybe the majority i'm not really sure what the majority is i always thought it was like equally split i know a lot i think i probably know more men artists but not in the space field so yeah you're right mm -hmm. but yeah regardless whoever wants to to paint it should because it's such a beautiful way to paint and it's fun and it can be easy so muy bien sí y pues dice que ahorita pues lo chido es de que pues no hay muchas, no, no hay muchos que pintan el espacio, pero sí se está, está creciendo la comunidad, hay más gente. La primera que, que de hecho vimos, pues fue esta Kate Train Matching, que ella fue una de las primeras 
y se está empezando a crecer la comunidad y eso es bueno porque pues quiere decir de que hay más gente que tiene talento pero apenas está en, es, ellos saben que tienen el talento ¿me entienden? Eh, lo chido es de que hay más mujeres yo les decía que a lo mejor los hombres somos muy atrabancados y no tenemos ese detalle fino para poder hacer las cosas pero si sí hay gente hombres que pinten está interesante y si a usted te gusta, a ti te gusta, pues anímate. Si te fijas, no requieres mucho. Nada más tres. Aquí nada más usamos tres pinturas. Un chorro de pinceles con estos y ya. Y es todo lo que necesitas. Y empezar a dejar tu imaginación. Y pues es un, es un gusto tener a Lanchen aquí para que nos platique un poquito. Este, y que nos haya hecho una pinturita aquí con nosotros. Sí. Y luego dice un comentario, Lanchen, uh, comment, dice Dani Villa. Porque aquí se lo puede leer. Can you read that? Yes, you can read that. And thanks for giving us such a great art. She's from Mexico. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you being here and even like staying on here for this long. Sí, dice que aprecia mucho que te hayas quedado hasta todo este rato, ¿verdad? It was bueno. And Lanchen, again, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for teaching me, teaching us how to to paint. This is my first time, and I think it did very well. I was hoping really to make a mess, but I didn't. <laughs> so it looks great. So and we did a face. And again, thank you for inspiring people. And I hope I hope more people start painting. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay. And right before we go, Lanshan, can you please share your all your social media for where we, we can find you? Oh, yeah, of course. So uh, it's just my first name, which is on the screen, Lanshan and uh -huh. Designs. So Lanshan Designs on all social media platforms. Um, Uh, and I think Twitter is just my first name. So YouTube is Lanchin Designs, Instagram, Lanchin Designs, and Twitter, just Lanchin. Muy bien. Yeah. Sí, I'm going to share the Instagram. Okay. Aquí está. Pues aquí está la, la página de Lanchin Designs. Aquí está. Para que ustedes la sigan, aquí tiene un chorro de pinturitas. Sí. Aquí es donde ves así. Yeah. ¿Mm? <laughs> Está con ganas. <laughs> All the reels. Uh, I can't stand that Instagram is just turned into video. <laughs> yeah. Mira, es este uh, con ganas. It's not the same, but it looks like. <laughs> yeah. Mira, este también. Bueno, ahí están los. Okay. Well, you can find. Bueno, puedes encontrar a Lanchen. Aquí están los cuadrotes con ganas. Sí, mira todos esos cuadros, qué chido. Qué genial. Muy, muy chido. Excelente. That's my resin stuff that I was showing you earlier. So you can tell it looks a little different. Sí, se but... ve un poquito diferente, pero se ve muy bien. Muy bien. Ok, Lanchen. <laughs> <laughs> muchas gracias Lanchen muchas thanks gracias. so much for having me sí, muchas gracias y pues bueno aquí voy a estar pintando más I won't be painting again so I'll let you know what did I did <laughs> <laughs> ok <laughs> ok, muy bien, pues vamos a terminar let's go finish and to just yes, close the live stream in the, in two hours live stream oh muy my bien. goodness alright, sí. bye guys sí. Sí. please don't go Yeah, it's going to finish the live stream. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>